But I'll start with Jordan Poyer. And this is when I say it's kind of an end of an era for the Bills. Um, just kind of watching the way this team came back to relevancy. And it was through some of these cornerstone guys that aren't going to be on the roster anymore. And it, it kind of took me back to Kyle Williams retiring and just kind of like the emotions of how great he was as a player, how awesome he was for the franchise and like to, to not go further with him was really hard for me. And it's kind of similar in this, except the, like the team has had the sustained success. It was just kind of getting over the hump. Um, as I take a few days to kind of collect my thoughts on this, um, these are the types of moves that good GMs have to make um, and that bad GMs are afraid to make. Um, if we're talking about Super Bowl windows and keeping them open, um, we kind of have had this core of players together and not gotten over the hump for the last three, four years. Um, and to kind of keep mo pushing money into the middle on, on the same core, something had to change eventually. And unfortunately, when you have a good team that's having success, you're, you're more apt to fall in love with these players. Um, and it's going to be harder when you have to choose to move on. Uh, I thought Poyer still had some juice last year. Um, but when we're looking at, keeping that Super Bowl window open and ways to free up money to kind of get cap compliant and be able to have some wiggle room. Um, these are the kind of moves that we're going to have to see. And ultimately I take a step back and I look at this of, okay, so we had to create the cap space, right? And when you're looking at, you know, the levers that can be pulled to get you there, um, some of the obvious ones staring at you in the face that were giant ways of of bringing that cap relief was restructuring Josh Allen. I still think that's going to happen. That's going to give us some money to play with. And then between um, Diggs and Von Miller's contracts, that was freeing up all the money that you had to do, but you're pushing more money into the future. Um, and, you know, seeing seeing the reactions on, Von Miller at the end of the year. Did you want to, you know, push more of that money into the future, kind of lock him here longer slash pay him without being here? Um, and then Diggs, I think, is in a good spot. Um, I talked about it when we did the receivers. I'm not doing any of the Diggs drama this year. I don't really buy into it, any of that. But for anybody that wants to get involved in that, you have him for another three, four, five years, depending on how you look at this contract. Um, do you want to kick more of that money down the road? So, you know, you're talking about, about whether or not he's on the roster, you know, still having a, a cap hit for a guy that might not be around. Um, and that's just kind of talking aging out of the system, not getting into does he want out of Buffalo and all, all that extra stuff with it. Um, so tough choices had to be made and, it's different, different ways of freeing cap than just kind of pushing more money down the road. What I feel like Bean was doing here is the last like three seasons, he was like, this team we have right now is going to get it done. We're going to give him a few years to do it. And this offseason, he kind of looked at it as we've had that core. We haven't gotten it done. Everybody's just continuing to age we got to kind of hit a reset button on the fly here. Um, it made some tough decisions.